Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh's YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create safety rope hooks in Tecla structures. Just like this. Okay, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with US environment. Now we are going to create column. So click on steel and select this column. And click on here to place the column like this. Right click on center, click on space, right click on center. Now we are going to place the safety hooks at this side. So go to application components by using the shortcut control F or you click on here in search bar type number 1062 okay you will get this component number 1062 safety rope hooks select this component and pick the part as a column now pick the position as you require for example I am going to pick at the middle now right click on interrupt and close this window click on space right click on you can see now I have the safety hook here like this now we're going to edit this safety hook as we require so double click on this component by default we have the one safety hook if you want to increase the safety hook number of safety hooks then enter here for example we require four hooks so enter here number of four hooks and the spacing between the two hooks let's take three feet then click on modify you can see now we have the safety hooks like this if you want to place in opposite direction then you need to give the negative value before the three feet then click on modify to change the position here like this okay default we're going to take in bottom side then click on modify like this you can change the position of this first hook from the pick point for example, if you want to place this first hook 5 inch away from the pick point, then let's take here 5 inch, then click on modify. You can see now the first hook should be 5 inch away from the pick point, like this. Okay, but if I were going to take at 0, then click on modify from the pick position. Now go to parts tab. In parts, you can change the profile of this hook. For example, we're going to change the diameter of this hook. So click on here click on here circular section and round click on here round and let's take D diameter let's take 3 by 4 inch then click on apply ok now click on modify to see the result here you can see now the diameter of this hook should be 3 by 4 inch similarly you can change as you require the size of this profile from here now go to parameter step in parameters you can change the shape of this hook then click on here select this option to get this shape then click on modify to see the result like this if you want to place the wrong hook then click on here and select this option then click on modify to see the result like this okay you can change the shape of this hook also for example if you want to place the this hook side of the flange then click on here and scroll it down and select this option to get this profile then click on modify to get like this okay if you want to change this shape then click on here and select this option then click on modify select this hook then click on modify to see the result like this if you want to place this hook on other side of the flange then click on here and select other side then click on modify to see the result like this You can see like this okay by default we're going to place this side select this hook and then click on modify to see the result now we're going to change the shape of this hook then click on here and select this option then click on modify for example if you want to place this hook inside of the flange at this side then click on here select this inside flange then click on modify you can see now the hook in inside of the flange like this placed inside of the flange like this okay and to place outside then click on here and select this option then click on modify 
select this hook and then click on mod fill like this if you want to place this hook other side of the flange then click on here and select the other side of the flange option then click on modify to place the hook on other side of the flange like this then click on modify apply okay right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse reload. okay that's it about how to create safety rope hooks in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope these videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you